new schools, new restaurants, and a new place coming to New Braunfels that may make you a rock star. Plus, are we gonna run out of water in New Braunfels with all of our growth? All of this today on today's video. If you guys are new here to my channel, thank you so much for hopping on because every week we're trying to put out relevant content about what it's like to live in New Braunfels. And whenever we talk about growth on our channel here, I read your comments, guys, and most of them have to do with infrastructure and water lately. You're asking, hey, are you gonna run out of water someday because all of our growth? So let's talk about the water issue first before we get into what's coming to New Braunfels. So are we gonna run out of water in New Braunfels? And the answer is no. And that's according to our local utility company. And the big reason is we're more diversified with our water sources in New Braunfels since 1991. Before 1991, 100% of our water here in New Braunfels came from an underground water basin called the Edwards Aquifer. Today, because of all of our growth here in New Braunfels, we are tapping into different water resources. One third of our water now comes from Canyon Lake. Only 18% now comes from the Edwards Aquifer and 10% of the water comes from what's called the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority. A big source of water, our water storage tanks, two large ones holding up to 1 million gallons of water located at the Veramendi residential development where 6,000 residential units are underway right now. And when our second master plan community Mayfair gets going, expect to see a water tower or two as well. So we're good on water right now in New Braunfels. And that's a good thing because we have a whole lot of new things coming to New Braunfels. We have new public schools coming to New Braunfels and here's one of them underway right now. Population has increased in New Braunfels and so has student enrollment. So our two local school districts are working hard right now to stay ahead of any capacity issues later on to try to keep that student teacher ratio low. With all of our growth here in New Braunfels, the city right now is focused on higher density living. So smaller units, smaller lots. We've talked about condos in New Braunfels on this channel in the past, either built already or coming, new ones coming to New Braunfels. We've also talked about luxury apartments building in New Braunfels right now off one of our main loops. Well, now there's a new luxury apartment development coming to New Braunfels. This one's gonna be in the Creekside area. These are garden style apartments on 14 acres. So there will be amenities. There's gonna be a pool, there's gonna be a dog park, a fitness center, and much more. These are one to two bedroom apartments, anywhere from 800 to 1100 square feet. And this whole Creekside area is just blowing up with residential, with shopping, there's a hospital, there's a 55 and older community. There are restaurants and there's much more to come, including luxury shopping and a farmer's market also. We did a video on what's coming to this whole Creekside area. It's called Uptown. Check it out. It's in the description below. Two major road projects in New Braunfels. One is finished, the expansion of I-35. Good news, we have more lanes now on the highway and frontage roads. The other major road project is the Loop 337 bridge at River Road, and that's headed to completion and will add more lanes as well. One thing we could use more of in New Braunfels is hotels. You guys ever try to book a hotel in New Braunfels, especially during the summer on a weekend? It, it's not a cheap ticket by any stretch. So happy to say that new hotels, more hotels, are coming to New Braunfels, including one where this empty lot is right now. It's gonna be part of the Marriott family off I-35 frontage and right next door to the courtyard by Marriott. This Marriott hotel will be for longer term stays, so it'll be suites with a kitchen in it and you'll have access to the Guadalupe River as well. It's an empty field right now. We're not looking at anything right now, but I'm told it's scheduled to be completed in two years. So you want to be a rock star? Well, you may have your shot coming up soon in New Braunfels. Guitar Center is coming to New Braunfels. Location will be Creekside. You can take instrumental lessons. You can purchase new or used guitars or other instruments and other equipment as well. Creekside, 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 Creekside. That's all we're talking about right now. So Creekside is also popping with new restaurants. There's new dining right next door to Willie's Grill and Ice House. It's called Lupe Tortilla. And it's in the same location as the old Nukes restaurant. Lupe Tortilla is known for its fresh Tex-Mex, including chicken and beef fajitas, guacamole, and margaritas. 
mm, if you want something other than Tex-Mex, which is understandable, look what's going on behind Lupe Tortilla and Willie's Grill and Ice House. The P.F. Chang's we've talked about so many times on these Coming to New Braunfels videos is making progress and is scheduled to open before the end of the year. P.F. Chang's, Tex-Mex, how about just a good old fashioned steak? A new steakhouse is coming to New Braunfels. It's called Saltgrass. Now, those of you who live in this area may be familiar. There are several of these Saltgrass steakhouses in Austin and San Antonio. This one, this Saltgrass in New Braunfels, is scheduled for completion in spring 2023. City police and firefighters have new digs in New Braunfels. The new city police department is open off Loop 337 and I-35. It's twice the size of the old one. In front of the police department is the new Veterans Memorial. The memorial honors all of our military branches and recognizes in name all local service men and women who died serving their country. With new brothels growing on all sides, there's a need for more emergency services. So the fire department is adding a seventh fire station. This one, East New Braunfels, which is a growing area. The fire station will be off Loop 306 and should be finished within 14 to 18 months. So what do you guys make of all of our growth in New Braunfels? Do you like what's coming to New Braunfels? Do you like what's already here? Tell me, what would you like to see here? Make some suggestions. Let me know in the comment section below. I know a lot of you are going to say Trader Joe's because that's always at the top of your list. And if you are coming to New Braunfels to live I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can email me, you can call me, or you can shoot me a text. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.